it is definitely time for them to you know, take the opinions of their consumers and start to protect and stop putting you know, the lives of Sumatran tigers and orangutans on the line. Greenpeace uh, you know, definitely stands behind the activists and of course they will be here to face the consequences and the organization will be uh, behind them. So I can't comment on, on the individual people uh, or the training that they have had, but I can say that they all are very passionate about uh, the environment, protecting the environment, and think that the atrocities that are happening on the ground in Indonesia right now just for palm oil that is being put into shampoos and cosmetics uh, is just really uh, unacceptable. And they wanted to you know, take a stand and send a message to, to Procter & Gamble, to other companies that are using irresponsible palm oil, that it is time to stop. Thank you. Nine Greenpeace activists appear at court arraignment. A bold nonviolent demonstration at Procter & Gamble headquarters in downtown Cincinnati, Ohio on March 4, 2014, led to the nine Greenpeace activists being taken into custody by the Cincinnati police. Today at the 9 a.m. arraignment, Judge Winkler's honest disclosure of his own financial ties to Procter & Gamble stock ownership shows the deep ties PNG has in the Cincinnati area. A reckless and ill-advised stunt, Winkler cited the use of the helicopter to capture the footage near the banners released on the PNG building to protest the destruction of rainforest habitat for palm oil farms that destroy the habitat for tigers, Sumatran rhinos, and orangutans. And I quote, Winkler again, he says, you've taken this selfless cause and turned it into a selfish act and put people in danger in this manner. The nine accused of burglary and vandalism charges set bail amounts each for $50,000, $40,000 for burglary, and $10,000 for vandalism. The nine are Charles Long, 34, of Oakland, California, Sean O'Brien, 22, of Oakland, California, Tyler Wilkerson, 26, of San Diego, California, Nima Shahidi, 29, of Falston, Maryland, Mike Herbert, 30, of Chicago, Illinois, Jesse Coleman, 28, of Washington, D.C., Marcella Larges, 28, of Baltimore, Maryland, Denise Rodriguez, 20, of Corona, New York, and Tyler Sandville, 28, of Santa Cruz. Greenpeace activists will always stand up to the consequences of their action, but it was non-violent, peaceful protest for a cause that is alarming in Indonesia. People around the world need to know what's happening on the ground there for uh, content that's in their products. And so, you know, the activists took this stand. But again, it was non-violent, peaceful protests, and we believe that the charges against them are, are incredibly inappropriate given what happened. It was non-violent, peaceful. Uh, the activists, you know, definitely believe that, uh, you know, they do not uh, warrant what the charges were. Greenpeace has been in communication with Procter & Gamble for several years. They've been on the you know, front pages of our reports, and we have been talking to them about the problems in their palm oil supply chain. They claim to be sourcing sustainable palm oil, but Greenpeace has repeatedly over the years shown that the certification scheme that they are using is still allowing forest destruction to happen, still allowing tiger habitat destruction to happen, forest fires, social conflict. The certification scheme that Procter & Gamble is using is not uh, uh, providing sustainable palm oil. Do not, do not be fooled by that. They need to stop buying palm oil linked to rainforest destruction. Other household names like L'Oreal, Nestle, and Unilever have already committed to removing forest destruction from their products. There's no reason that Procter & Gamble can't do the same. Yeah, you saw the, the statement that they made yesterday. It's a continuation of the lines that has, have been spoken all along. They are relying on one certification scheme to provide them with sustainable palm oil. Unfortunately, the evidence on the ground in Indonesia does not back up their claims. The certification scheme they are using allows forest destruction, habitat destruction, social conflict, and forest fires to get into the palm oil that they are putting into products like head and shoulders. Let, like I said, more than 200,000 people have signed a petition to send a message to Procter & Gamble that it's time for them to stop buying palm oil linked to rainforest destruction. It is our hope that they will listen.